Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day so far. So today, we are going to be installing the rootless dopamine jailbreak on this iPhone 13 Pro. The current firmware version of this phone is 15.3.1, which falls within the range of the dopamine exploitability, which is iOS 15.0 through 15.4.1 for A12 through A15 devices, as well as the M1 chipset to be found in a certain iPads as well. Now, the dopamine jailbreak is a jailbreak for those ARM 64E devices, as I mentioned previously, the A12 through A15 chipsets and the M1 chip. Support on devices on iOS 15 through 15.4.1. And this is known as a rootless jailbreak, coming with the package managers Cilio and Zebra. And it's also open source, which is always a good thing. So a rootless jailbreak in contrast to uh, jailbreaks on iOS devices of the past, does not provide full access to the iOS device's operating system. Only certain parts of the file system can be written to. And that makes it so that the modifications may have to be done in different ways than anyone who has jailbroken a device is previously used to. And that may require tweaks to be updated in order to properly support the rootless environment. So how this affects the end users, they should check if their tweaks are compatible with iOS 15 first and are properly compiled before installing them. Not all tweaks will work on this version out of the box, so those tweak developers who develop tweaks for iOS 15 and up on a rootless uh, configuration are going to have to take that into account and rebuild their applications without that rootful support. That's a sort of new term that has been coming up, rootful versus rootless. One referring to rooted environments and rootless referring to the antithesis of that. So as a developer, in order to support dopamine, you will need to recompile your tweak for rootless. And the details for that can be found on this website page. So this elegant space uh, dopamine URL over here at the top. So if you are a developer watching this, then I would continue to encourage you to, uh, you know, take a look at this and see if it's possible to compile your tweak for rootless. So moving on to the credits uh, for dopamine, we have Opa 334, who is the main developer on this project, Evelyn, who developed Elikit, uh, Linus Hens, who developed Fugu 15, which is the exploit leveraged in this rootless jailbreak. Also the source location, UI developer, Zerus, who is a designer on this project, Nightwind, website developer, Adam Damasi, who designed the Zebra uh, package manager, Amy Weil, the designer of Soleo, that package manager, Procursus, who developed the Bootstrap, Sam Bingner, who is sort of a big name in this space for certain tweaks, created the set UID solution, Dynac, and Captain Inc, the real clarity and cryptic for many other various contributions. So from this credits list, I do want to take a moment and say thank you to everyone who's on this list, everyone who has made a contribution in the development of this rootless jailbreak it has taken many hours, days, weeks, and months of concerted and uh, concentrated efforts to make this jailbreak a reality. And it also goes to show that despite uh, Apple's uh, security features that they continue to iterate upon in each subsequent iOS version, there is still going to be a community that feels strongly that the device that they purchase should be able to provide full accessibility to the end user, even if it is in a rootless environment. And I think actually you know, there are also some benefits to rootless as well in comparison to rootful jailbreaks. So really just want to take a moment and say thank you to all the individuals here and for us to continue to show our support as they continue to support you know, this community and uh, see what can come of it in the future. So that being said, we can go ahead and proceed with the installation of the dopamine jailbreak. So just uh, indicating some requirements before we begin. 
So we are going to be presuming two things. The first is that you have an internet connection so that you could download the TIP file or you can open it in troll store. And the second requirement being that you have troll store as troll store will be leveraged in the installation of the dopamine jailbreak here. Now, troll store is a jailed iOS app which can install IPs permanently with arbitrary entitlements and root helpers because it trolls Apple, apparently. And I think it's still a very good name, even now. Permasign is a jailed app that can permanently install any IPA you open in it, of course, within the device's storage limitations. It works due to an AMFI core trust bug, where iOS does not correctly verify the code signatures of binaries in which there are multiple signers. And currently, the support divergence on the GitHub page is 14.0 through 16.6.1, and then 17.0. There is a guide on the GitHub page as well, which I will provide the link to in the description, which indicates how to install Trollstore. And so there is also some information here regarding 16.7.x and 17.0.1 plus, which will never be supported unless Apple screws up core trust a third time. And the way I feel about that is, you know, if they could screw it up twice, then it's likely that they could do it again. So here's to hoping on that. And there's also some more information on the GitHub page regarding updating Troll Store, uninstalling an application, as well as the persistence helper application. Now, typically when you're sideloading an app onto a modern version of iOS, and I think this also may apply to legacy versions of iOS as well. However, I could probably be wrong about that. But when you are sideloading an application, that app is only signed for seven days through Alt Store at least. And each time seven days passes, the application needs to be re-signed in order for you to use it. So the core trust bug used in Troll Store is only enough to install those system apps. And that is because Frontboard has an additional security check, which calls a libmis every time before a user app is launched. Unfortunately, it's not possible to install new system apps, which stay through an icon cache reload. So when iOS reloads the icon cache, all Troll Store installed apps, which includes Troll Store itself, would revert back to the user state and it will no longer launch. So the only way to work around this would be to install that persistence helper into a system app. And when you install Troll Store, you would be able to select that system app in iOS 15, whether it's the Tips app, for example, or Compass or Mail or whatever it may be. It would be up to the user to decide where to install that persistence helper. And that helper can then be used to re-register Troll Store and its installed apps as system so that they become launchable again, which an option for this, as I said, is available in the Troll Store settings. And there's also a contingency on jailbroken iOS 14. When Troll Helper is used for installation, it's located in the application's uh, location, and it will persist as a system app through icon cache reloads. So Troll Helper is used as the persistent helper on iOS 14. There's more information here regarding the URL scheme that is uh, leveraged with Troll Store as well as features, banned entitlements on A12 plus chipsets, unsandboxing, as well as root helpers. And if you would like to look at this information further, I will also provide a URL in the description or you can also pause the video and read it for yourself. There are certain things that are not possible using Trollstore as of current state, and that is getting proper, proper excuse me, platformization, spawning a launch daemon, which we need CS platformized, and injecting a tweak into a system process, which would need TF platform, a user line PAC bypass, and a PMAP trust level bypass as well. So toward the end, we see credits and further reading. So credits going to Alfie CG Dev, who found core trust bug that allows Troll Store to work through patch diffing and worked on automating the bypass, as well as the Google Threat Analysis Group who found the core trust bug as part of an in the wild spyware chain and reported it to Apple, so thanks guys. And uh, Linus Hens, once again, who found the installed bypass used to install Troll Store 
on iOS 14 through 15.6.1 via the Troll Helper OTA, as well as the original core trust bug used in Troll Store 1.0, which was uh, quite a while ago. Also some helpful links if you would like further information is the Fugu 15 presentation link, as well as the write-up on the first core trust bug, which has more information there as well. Moving further into the GitHub page for Troll Store, we see the individual releases. And when we click on that, we can look through the releases as of the time of this video, the latest releases being five days ago. We look through the change log as well as the contributors, and we are able to see all the progress that has been made to date on Troll Store. So I would uh, strongly recommend utilizing Troll Store for an iOS 15.0 through 15.4.1 jailbreak because at least to my knowledge, I believe that its features are uh, much stronger, I guess you could say, than what Alt Store provides. And I could probably be wrong about that. Maybe someone with more knowledge could let me know uh, whether or not it's better to use Alt Store in certain situations or Troll Store. But I think if you are able to use Troll Store, then it's going to be superior. So that being said, uh, if you, once again, have Wi-Fi and you have Troll Store, then we can proceed with the dopamine installation, at least uh, from the context of this video, as I have Troll Store set up already, and that's what I'll be using to leverage the dopamine exploit. So to begin the process of the dopamine installation, we have a couple of choices here. The first would be downloading the .tipa uh, to download it manually, and then run it through something like FileZone so that it can go ahead and open in Troll Store or we could attempt to open it in Troll Store directly, which is what I will be selecting here to begin the process. When you select that option, it will download and it will present you with this screen. It shows the application, its metadata, the sandboxing information, its capabilities and privacy, as well as its accessible containers. So to install the dopamine app through Troll Store, we can go ahead and click install and if we look over here at the top, we see that dopamine has now been installed. We can select the dopamine application, and we have a few options here in front of us. Open show details, if we want to see more details, switching to user registration on install app. Let's go ahead and click open. And now the dopamine app is open. So from here, we have a few different options available to us. From the top, we can see, you know, uh, this is dopamine 15.0 through 15.4.1, the same information that we've stated before. OPA and Eveline, Avers, user interface by source location, based on Fugu 15. If we took a look into the settings, we could see that tweak injection is enabled through first opening the app. We also have iDownload available to us, uh, so that would be a developer shell. Uh, the device is not bootstrapped and uh, also verbose logs, just in case, for example, you are attempting this jailbreak and it is failing numerous times. It may be valuable to check verbose logs and see exactly where it is failing and what's going on there. Uh, since this uh, is our first time doing this, I'm not going to uh, check verbose logs. However, uh, success rate is reading as zero out of zero. So the success rate is measured by the amount of times that you attempt to jailbreak the device. And the ratio is uh, determined by how many times it's failed versus how many times it succeeds. So let's go ahead and move out of the settings app. We also have credits of the individuals that I mentioned previously. Source code, license, discord. So more information here as well. The logo and the icon are by zeros. And this is currently dopamine version 1.1.11, version 15.3.1, build 19D52. So that is my current firmware version, as I've uh, mentioned at the beginning. So to proceed with the jailbreak, similar to other jailbreaks in the past, we can just go ahead and tap the jailbreak button. And at this point, we have the choice of selecting the package managers we would like to leverage. So. I would recommend choosing both Saleo and Zebra, since Saleo, at least in my experience, 
tends to misbehave with some uh, repositories and Zebra tends to misbehave with other repositories. So if you would like access to all of those repos, then you should probably switch between one and two. However, it does say if you're unsure which one to select, select Cilio. I think, you know, uh, at least, I guess it just depends. But uh, I'm going to select both for now and I'm going to click continue at the bottom. And then the device will proceed with the jailbreak, showing the details of all the steps of the jailbreak below. And then you'll be prompted to set a password to use command line tools like sudo and some various other things. So after you've set your password, you can go ahead and click set, and then it will proceed with the rest of the jailbreak and it would restart the user space and reboot the phone. Now we can see the white logo is appearing, which indicates that the phone has been rebooted. And we wait for some time before the device fully reboots. After we swipe up and unlock the screen, we can go ahead and navigate to the dopamine app to check our progress and we can see that the device is jailbroken. Navigating to the credits, uh, I'm actually not sure why I did that. Select settings, and we can see now that the device is bootstrapped and the success rate is 100%. Luckily, in comparison to other jailbreaks of the past, this was successful on the first try. So that's always good. Exiting out the uh, dopamine app, we can go ahead and select uh, Soleo. I'm going to just deny that. And from here, it's pretty simple where we can continue to upgrade these dependencies. And after those are complete, we can proceed to installing tweaks. And yeah. Uh, there you have it. That's the installation of the dopamine jailbreak. And from here, there are many different rootless tweaks at this point, which you can install. So adding features such as the battery uh, numerical percentage from iOS 16 moving forward, uh, dynamic peninsula, which uh, sort of emulates the uh, dynamic island, except in this uh, notch form factor, which is also uh, pretty interesting. There are many different tweaks, and I am going to also be posting in the description a list of, it's actually going to be a Google Docs sheet, of the uh, rootless uh, repositories that I have found uh, through, uh, you know, I think it was a Reddit post or somewhere on the internet, but in any case, I'm going to go ahead and post that in the description, and then you can begin adding those repositories. And of course, if you have used Soleo in the past, to add repositories. All you have to do is select sources from the bottom of the Soleo app. And then from here, tap the plus sign in the top right corner and then add the repository from there. So you could also do the same with Zebra by opening up Zebra, going to sources, clicking the plus in the top left corner and then adding your sources from there. And there you have it. That is the installation of dopamine. If, if for whatever reason it is failing, then you can always uh, go ahead and enable verbose log. And then uh, you can uh, continue to troubleshoot from there. So if you have any questions regarding this process or anything else that I can uh, possibly help with, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the video. And once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.